All right, guys, I'm redoing a tutorial from uh, Game Dev Academy, uh, which was from YouTube. I'll just show you where it is, an excellent channel. Uh, but I'm uh, going to tailor it to a little bit more to our class uh, to meet our goals. But I'd like to uh, shout out to Game Dev Academy uh, and uh, uh, for showing us this tutorial. So we'll uh, be uh, mirroring some of the things that, he's done, that they've done, uh, but make it a little bit simpler for our purposes. All right. So I want you to start by going to your, uh, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you go to the D drive and you're going to create a folder called uh, Maya and probably with your name just so you don't get it confused with anybody else's. So I'll go Dubo underscore Maya. All right. So that's going to be mine. All right. So a lot like when we're working with big projects like video projects, you want a dedicated folder. Okay. Otherwise it gets really hard to find stuff okay so start with that if you haven't already opened maya please open maya go to file and project window and this is going to pop up and this is really important so you see it always uses the wrong directory so what you want to do is change this to the folder that you just created whether it's on your d drive or mac people on your desktop so uh, i'm going to go to uh, the mine and find it for me, it's on the D drive, so I click here, and it was called Dubo Maya. I'm going to select, and you may want to change this name to uh, Room, okay, um, that we're going to create. And you can also use your name so you don't get it confused with anybody else's for whatever reason. And what I love about this is it creates all the folders that you're going to need. Now, mind you, there's a lot of these we won't need, but uh, they're there. Before we move on, I want you to bring in the uh, the image textures that you need for this project. So go to the bottom in your Google Classroom and, and just basically uh, download those. So you'll see I've already downloaded them and they're in a zip file. So I will just open them and I will put them in the source image directory that I just created. So one thing you may want to do, there's a couple ways to do this. Double click on the PCs. You can do this uh, before I go command. Um, control A, Control C, and then I go to my D drive. I go find my Maya folder, and I'm going to just put it right in to the source image. So that way you have this for later. So I'm going to go around and check who has this and who hasn't done this. So please make sure you do that right now, please. And now that we have that set up in our source image file, we're going to actually save this image. So we're going to go to File or Save This Project uh, so we can begin. So we're going to go File, Save As. And you'll see that we, since we've, if you've done everything right, this will be set up. And you'll see your scenes here. And, you know, the scenes is where the this room is going to be. So we're going to call Room Dubo. And uh, so we're happy. We're going to click that Save As. And now if you went to your file manager or your finder, what you're going to see is room Dubo. And under scenes, there's the room I just saved. And if I go up a le level, you're going to see the images that I've also um, uploaded over here. Take a second there, computer slow. Um, so as you can see, it's there. So that's perfect. All right. I just want to mention a few words about menus. So one of the things you're going to notice in Maya, there's a quite a few different uh, menus. If I click on animation, you're going to see that all these change up here. So it's very important that uh, you be aware of these small changes. But currently we're doing modeling. So you can see out oh, there and the modeling shows up. Uh, also, if by accident you see something different, you might have clicked on the wrong one here. Um, I think it's frozen here as usual. But if you click on it, you'll see that you'll see something else there. There you go. It took a while. So if you see that, you just need to click on this. Okay. And this is where you can create shapes and just drag them in. Basically, there's several ways to, to, to create them. Um, so that's important. And often if you're missing something too, under the windows panel, you can go and see what uh, you're missing. So just uh, pause this for a second. It's freezing. 